nuts. Just like theories about Nibiru and Planet X and <laughs> nonsense like that. Atheist Aussie actually posted a very interesting video there um, yesterday or today, I don't know, about this research paper that was published that was talking about some hitherto unexplained anomaly in the eccentricity of the moon's orbit. And the writers of this paper did mention that uh, the size of the eccentricity could possibly be explained by the existence of an Earth-sized object at 30 AU or a Jupiter-sized object at 200 AU and so on and so forth. You know, there's, there is a sliding scale there of possibility. And as Atheist Ozzy pointed out, um, they added to that, and that's what the Nibiru Planet X nuts always kind of conveniently forget to mention, that any such scenario involving such an object would be unrealistic. Let me help you understand why they're drawing that conclusion, why they're drawing the conclusion that that is unrealistic. Let's put it this way. Cast your mind back, and uh, if you don't know this, look it up, on how Pluto was discovered. You see, Pluto was discovered because observers observed that Neptune's orbit was somewhat irregular. You know, again, an anomaly in the eccentricity of Neptune's orbit led people to conclude that there had to be another fairly large sized object somewhere near Neptune that would explain the eccentricity of Neptune's orbit. They went looking for it and lo and behold they found Pluto. Let's take that recognition back to this particular scenario and then you'll start understanding why it is indeed unrealistic. Here we are talking about an object that supposedly causes an eccentricity in the orbit of our moon around our planet. This would require this planet, this supposed planet, if it were Earth-sized, to be at a distance of 30 AU. Now, that is almost impossible to achieve in our solar system without anybody noticing it. Pluto is a tiny little dwarf of a planetoid. It has actually been demoted from planet status to less than that because it is too small and it exerts a measurable influence on the orbit of Neptune. In order for this planet to be Earth-sized, it would also exert a measurable influence on the, the uh, orbits of Neptune, of Pluto, of Saturn, of Uranus, of pretty much all the planets in our solar system. And forget about if it were actually the size of Jupiter. That is why this suggestion that this could be a planet or an even bigger object is deemed to be unrealistic. Because the only object for which we have established a measurable anomaly is the moon. So obviously Whatever is going on, and we still don't know, is a bit more local than an Earth-sized planet at 30 AU or a Jupiter-sized one at 200. Like I said, Nibiru theorists nuts. Except these nuts are nice. <laughs>